Hi, Makers on the Minnesota are excited to bring to you a new project for 2021. It's a mosaic project and we're calling it Kaleidoscope of Hope. With the pandemic, things have been more difficult to get out and be creative, and we love to do something that gives back to the community. So in this project, it's a mosaic, but the intent that is after you make it, you will bring it back to the makers on the Minnesota, and we will then put it on part of our ongoing mural project down on the Riverwalk. In your kit, you're gonna find a large bag full of different types of tiles and glass pieces, maybe even some old jewelry pieces. You'll also have what's called weld bond glue. This is a very strong glue and it's made uh, for mosaics and things like that. If you leave the tip open uh, for any length of time, you might have to clean it out by running some warm water in it. Just unscrew it and let it uh, soak in some water. So be careful of that. You also have a little tweezers just to pick up small little pieces and maybe to put them in so that you don't get uh, glue on your fingers. Then also I like to take uh, small little plastic containers little cups or some little um, plastic containers that you might have laying around your home and just divide out some of my colors uh, so it's easier for me to find what I'm looking for when I'm creating my mosaic. So let's get started. We have three layers in here and I like just to work right in the box. You don't have to, it just helps keep things from falling on the floor. So in the box on the very bottom, I have my pattern. Now the pattern's designed that you can use it as it is, or if you would like to, you can alter it. That's fine too, because we want you to be creative with this project. Next, you're gonna have a layer of parchment paper. And the parchment paper just helps to keep the glue from sticking to your pattern down below. And then last, you have this layer. This is a mesh, and this is what we actually attach the glass to. And then we transfer this right to the wall. We use uh, mortar mix, and then we grout the whole thing. So we don't wanna fill up the whole space with glue so we want to just glue on one little piece at a time to avoid too much glue and then it's difficult for that to stick to the wall if you get too much glue on it um, so we're going to start i like to do a border first and so what we do when we create the border we're just going to do one little dot of glue and it doesn't take very much and I can even put like maybe three little dots of glue down, but they're very small little dots of glue. And then I'm going to organize my little glass beads where I want them to go. Now you can have them so that they're all matching in this border. You can make it so that they vary in color. Um, but I start with the border first and I'll go all the way around and then I can come back in and fill in the areas. It's kind of like working on a puzzle. It just works much better if you have a, a little area that you want to do first and then come back to fill in. Okay, I am finishing up my project here at the Makers on the Minnesota, right downtown Granite Falls in their classroom. You are welcome to come there also and work on your mosaic, or you can work on it in the comfort of your own home. You can see here, this is what I was talking about when I said a border. I would make a border but here it happens to be green, and then I have the blue and the red, and then I come back and then fill in. The reason that's important is because sometimes you have irregular pieces, such as this broken china in the center, and then it just gives it a, a stronger place to know where to put those pieces. Also, it's fun to add in those fun little pieces, the little pieces of jewelry, or it might be coins or seashells. When people come down to the river walk, they love to see something new each time. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. So you're giving them that opportunity to look for something new and exciting. Also, if you have something that you don't want to be there, let's say that I didn't want this blue tile here. You can use a screwdriver to remove it once it's dried, um, but make sure you're wearing safety glasses first. I like to wear the kind that have the um, protectors on the side. You never, never know when it might go flying. But if you take this approach where you Wiggle the screwdriver back and forth right at the base of where the tile is at. It's more likely to come off easy. Yep. Just kind of wiggle it like that. All right, and then you see the glue on the back. That doesn't mean that this tile is ruined. You just re-glue it wherever you want it. Or you can put it back in the bag and return it too because we're hoping that any extra supplies will be returned. That way we can continue the project at, at a low cost. Um, 
Beyond that, have fun, and we can't wait to see your designs by June of 2021.